very excited to be here and to um, have the ribbon cutting for the A.J. Wittenberg uh, bottle greenhouse. As we sit here at A.J. Wittenberg, right beside the Salvation Army Croc Center, um, within the west side of the city, um, we currently have been able to focus a lot of efforts on the west side. For years, the city has recognized this area that sits by the Reedy River within the floodplain, near the floodplain in some areas, is a challenge. But a challenge that holds a lot of opportunity. And because of that, we have focused over the years our EPA Brownfields funds within the site and the surrounding area. Um, that in focusing our HUD funds, CDBG and home funds in the nearby neighborhoods helped us be extremely competitive when we applied for and received a combination grant, Community Challenge and Tiger II Planning Grant. So both from the Departments of Housing and Urban Development and the Department of Transportation via working with FTA. And so by receiving that funding, we were able to do a lot of citywide planning and we're now embarking on doing a lot of west side planning. And as a result of that, we were also able to have an education component where we hired a livability educator. And that person, Jacqueline Durant, if you raise your hand, Jacqueline. Um, she's, been, she's been entrenched here at A.J. Wittenberg and has been able to work with them. And that partnership um, really helped us when um, Jacqueline was able to apply for and receive some funds from South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, DHEC, as we all know them around here. Um, she received a Champions of the Environment grant, and we were able to work and have the children work on this bo recycled bottle greenhouse that you see right down below us. And so it's really, this whole effort is a combination of efforts, and it's really about partnerships. As part of the Connections for Saint Sustainability grant, the Greenhouse Project was spearheaded by Jacqueline Durant and the city of Greenville. Um, it was built as a collaborative uh, effort between the students, the staff, and the community. It's an example of the out-of-the-box thinking and ingenuity and creative spirit that is the hallmark of the school and our city. I just want to say on behalf of the students, thank you for coming to visit A.J. Wittenberg. We're a pretty cool place. Thank you. Uh, you're in an area that uh, five years ago you wouldn't be here. Um, this area, and it's much bigger in this direction, as you might have taken a glimpse, has always been sort of a backyard to Greenville. Uh, you're in a floodplain and floodway. Uh, this is an area that should be a park and we're in the midst, thanks to, to the boost we got with this planning grant, we're able to move along in this, on the vision of a park for this area. Uh, you've seen Falls Park and our downtown and all its beauty and the waterfall and all. Uh, this park, with your help and through this planning process, will be different from what you saw. And that's what makes it so very special because this park, we have an opportunity to have truly, not just any park, we have an opportunity to have a green park. Uh, with the highest attention to good environmental practices in the construction along the edges as well as in the park itself. And you get a glimpse of it here with the, with the stormwater swells and the, the swamp rabbit bike and walking trail which runs right through the middle here and goes on about 12 miles up the road. Uh, people are beginning to discover this place. Uh, all you need to do to add to the mix is more green space, more recreation space, and more opportunities to see projects like this along, along these sides of the project. And that's kind of our, our greater vision, that it be something different and be something special and be very green, very sustainable, and have elements of that throughout the whole park. And you're beginning, thanks to this grant, uh, we're seeing um, some elements of that now. It is a great pleasure to be here. Um, I am just overwhelmed by the experience of coming here. The accomplishments that have occurred on this site and in this city are remarkable and they're a testimony to so many capable and involved people. The, um, the, mayor, uh, the mayor deserves an immense amount of credit for the progress he's made in this city. Uh, clearly Mayor White is one of the nation's leaders in thinking about sustainable communities, sustainable development and what it, makes to, what it takes to make a city a continuing vibrant and exciting and engaging place. And the Partnership for Sustainable Communities, which is what brings us all here together, is really about exactly the point that the mayor mentioned, which is government agencies working together to improve the quality of life. 
and it doesn't really matter whether you have the three letter labels of HUD or DOT or EPA on you. That's really what we're about, trying to find ways to cooperate so that life is better, so that life is sustainable, and so that we can all accomplish the things that everybody wants, which is to build a better and stronger community. And the work that the greenhouse will represent is really an exciting symbol of that. So thank you for the opportunity to witness this great event. Thank you to all of the folks who put together the tour of the community and congratulations to the city of Greenville and this entire area for all of your work to bring about a healthier environment for all of us. Thank you. On behalf of Secretary Sean Donovan and the 9,000 people that work at the U.S. Department of Housing and Development, I'm ecstatic to be here. Um, Ms. Thompson, you are inspiring the next generation of young boys and girls to really claim their community uh, as one community, not just about where they live, where they go to school, where they play, uh, where they worship. The idea that this combination of this facility is education, uh, is uh, health and welfare in regard to uh, the why, uh, faith facility with the croc support that's there, working with government, the entire community working together to enhance itself. So thank you very much for coming. Look forward to this wonderful facility, what it's going to be and what it's going to grow uh, in generations to come. Thank you very much.